The Lord of the Rings is one of the greatest movie trilogies of all time. It is a groundbreaking movie series with great effects. But out of all of that, there is a minor effect that is only used a couple of times in the entire series. And it is the Sting effect. Sting is the sword that Bilbo Baggins had and they ended up giving to Frodo. It is the sword that glows blue whenever an orc is near. And that is what we're going to be working on today. That is the effect we're going to be doing. How to make your sword glow like orcs are approaching. Okay, the very first thing you are going to want to do is get a video of your actor holding the sword. And then we're going to go into After Effects. Okay, we are now in After Effects getting ready to start on creating this effect. Now, first what you're going to want to do is go to New Composition from Footage. Then you're going to go down to Photos and go to your clip. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, right, actor footage, call whatever you want, but it's best to always rename things. It keeps you in order. Now, we're, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start on the effect. So find the very first frame your sword enters the clip, right? You're gonna go up here to layer, new and solid. You're gonna uh, rename the layer you know, if the sword is, it's, it's called Sting, so let's call it Sting. Now do that light blue of the color that it is. We're going to do this right here. You're going to go over here to the little eye, press that icon. And now you're going to make sure you're selected on Sting. You're going to grab the masking tool and you're going to create a mask around the sword. Now you're going to go down here now, go masks, mask one, and you're going to go to mask path. You're going to go another frame ahead, just like this. So now I turn to the frame ahead, you're going to move this mask along with the sword. So you're going to go here like this, and go into the frame, and you're going to follow along the sword. And you're going to keep doing this until the clip is finished. So I'm going to do a little fast forwarding so you don't have to see me do this. Because this does take a while. Okay, y'all, so you can see I've been going at this for a while now, and still, as you can see, I haven't even gotten through most of the video, but I'm only going to tell you, this is going to take a while, but I don't want to, you know, make this whole video a uh, time lapse. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use what I got here so I can just show you all how to do the effect. I know it's not really about how my project turns out, it's how yours turns out. I just don't want to sit here and do a bunch of time lapses I want y'all to be able to do your effect so I'm gonna stop it here but what you're gonna do now is you're going to uninvisible it and when you play the clip you can see that it follows that's what the mask path is for but what I gotta do now or what we're gonna to do so the frame before that I believe we need to move it out of the way that works And there we go. So now, what you're going to want to do, right? Obviously, this is not the full effect. It's not going to look this bad. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do first is if we do any feathering on the masking, we may take out the sharpness of it a little bit so you can see it's, it's a little less sharp. Okay, now we're going to go to effects and presets, get rough and edges, and drag it down on our sword. We're going to go up to roughen. And we're gonna go to photocopy. And now you can see that it's already kind of doing some stuff, but we're gonna go to scale. And we're gonna raise it up a little bit. Actually, I believe we're going to photocopy. Yes, photocopy. Sorry about that. 
scale it up a little bit to your liking. And I think I'm gonna go actually back down and do some uh, do some passive feathering stuff real quickly. Okay, there you go. And now you can see that it is, you know, I mean my clip doesn't show long enough to show much movement, but if you go to here, you get evolution, spin this, you spin it again over here, it should, um, it's going to be moving. But my clip obviously isn't long enough to show it, you can, but you can kind of tell through here. Uh, if you want it to be more blue instead of how I'm doing it here, that is totally fine. But anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really appreciated it. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and it helped you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know anytime I post a new video. I got some new videos coming out soon, and there are some new films in the works that I'm very excited for. But anyway, y'all, that's it. I'll see you all in the next one.